Oh my gosh, so I'm like literally holding this camera up with my other hand. And it's very annoying. And I need to figure out the light. This was just spur of the moment, people. Um, I literally am holding my cell phone up with my hand. Um, they should have, be able to do live with your computer. Cause then I would just hook my computer up to it and it would be so much easier. Um, I don't know. Basically I'm drawing because I haven't in a long time. Story of my life. Um, yeah, postponing doing things. You know what? I'm getting too nitpicky with this. This marker is kind of shit. Whatever. I think it's about time to get a new marker. Um, yeah, and guess what, guys? I lost my pencil case last week with all of my microns and the markers and stuff that I use all the time which is very, very upsetting. Um, if you all hold on a second, I'm gonna flip this. Hello. Okay, so you're just gonna look at my face and my room for like five seconds because I'm gonna get light for, um, so you guys can see all this shit a little bit better. I don't know, I kind of like doing this little live thing because, um, Yay, light. Um, fuck, I just spill water. Okay. I like doing the live thing because, oh god, well, maybe not so you can see my hair. But anyway, um, because it's interesting for me, it, keep, it, it makes me actually do things. Four lovely people are watching. You're wonderful. Hi, Paige. Hi, Calvin. I don't know who else is watching. Okay, I'm going to flip this around again. Okay, so this is the drawing that I'm working on. This is the reference photo I'm working from. Okay, and these are all of my markers. These are chart pick, um, warm gray, and cool gray markers. Um... The, this one is, needs to be thrown away. Okay. So, it's kind of interesting to draw why you are, oh yes, thank the Lord, this one works so much better. Um, yay, lines. Okay. Oh no, and then of course, guys, I'm so sorry. Okay, my cell phone is now... Okay, so my cell phone wants to die, and I have to tell it no. Where's the charger? Okay, here is the dealio. Now I'm gonna have cords everywhere. And what once was somehow a little bit difficult is going to be like a lot more difficult because now I'm going to have ah, drop it marker lids. Okay, so now, okay, you can stay on the floor and Miss Cat can play with you. Um, just dropped a marker lid. Okay, so sorry everyone who feels like they're on a roller coaster. This will be figured out soon. Okay. Mm. Here we go. Um, okay, back to artwork. Okay, yay, okay. So here we go. Now, back to drawing. Okay, so basically I do a light pencil sketch is what I've done so far. I've done a light pencil sketch um, just to figure out my bearings of where this face is. Um, and then I go with my chart pick Number one, warm gray. Um, and I just am kind of figuring out very general placements of things. Um, 
And then once I do that, well, I'll just do that for a minute. You know, don't get impatient with me. Okay, so we're gonna just draw a little bit. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Cheekbones. Um, okay, so now what needs to happen is I will get a slightly uh, darker tone. Um, I'm gonna do a. I'm gonna do a chart pack number three. They get. Where's the three? I don't know, but it's number three. Um, I'm gonna go a little bit. Yeah, I'm learning how to do this all with one hand because I my other hand's holding my cell phone. Um, but basically, I'm gonna go darker, and I'm gonna to hope that that works. And you know what? I, I don't trust myself with the number three. So I'm actually, you guys are like, just pick a damn marker, Joe. Like, what the heck? Just do it. Um, I pick number two instead because I'm not as confident that I want everything. There we go. Yeah, that's a good color. Um, little line there. And, and this is where I just go in and I'm just like restating where some of these... Um, Darker bits. Darker bits. All of the darker bits are going to happen. Yeah, I'm weird. If you guys didn't know. Um, okay, so then we get some eyebrow action. You know what's really hot are like a good set of eyebrows on a man. I guess on a woman too, but you know. Um, just like some thick eyebrows. Yeah. They're really nice. Mm -hmm. Little secret, you guys. Every once in a while, I will pencil in my eyebrows. Sometimes I do. Yep. Just when I'm feeling it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'm bored. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to pencil some eyebrow in today. I think makeup is really cool, though, because... Um, I don't know. It's like it's it's a way of being creative. You can put your makeup on. Um, I don't know. I think that's pretty cool. You can change it. You can make yourself look so much different just by um, the makeup that you do. I, I, I honestly think that it's like kind of good for me to talk while I am drawing because then I'm only like half of my brain is working on talking and then the other half of my brain is just uh drawing and I you know how they always say the right half of your brain does this and the left half of your brain does that well I don't know that that's actually how it works I think your brain is just your brain and it just works and everyone's brain works a little differently um Anyways, I just think that mine kind of works um, well drawing when I'm talking. Um, wow. And then sometimes you look at it and you're like, what the heck is happening here? Um, I think I work slower when I'm talking, which is good because sometimes you work too quick and you don't think enough enough. That's a weird way to say that word. Um, but it's okay, because whatever. Um, yeah, and then it needs to have, he has a draw line, you know, because everybody loves drawing out draw lines. That's kind of a weird thing to, you know, people like um, weird parts of the human anatomy, like a draw line. Who decided that that was attractive, you know? I bet there's a time period where it was maybe attractive for people to have just like big, you know, like just a big round face that just went 
straight into their neck. <laughs> you know, I, and then it's just like, yeah, that person knows how to eat some food. Um, I don't know. But did you ever see, sometimes they have like male, or not male, or just any kind of like models. And they look really great on paper. And they have all these great angles that show all these shadows and everything. But sometimes you see them in real life and they just look so intense. Like, it's almost like, whoa, they look kind of, they just look almost weird because they have like two, their face is like too angular. And you're like, wow, like that's not even attractive. Um, some people, some people you're like, oh God, cheekbones on fleek. But um, anyways... Um, I just think about that a lot because a lot of the drawings I do have people with very sharp, angular uh, features. Um, I it just it's easier to draw because you have all the shadows hitting different places, um, and uh, things like that. And you guys are like, "What are you? Why are you drawing lines all over his face?" Like, let me just tell you. I'm literally just figuring out where the shadows go in this guy. Um, yeah, figuring out the boundaries of, of shadows, trying not to stress out about anything too much, um, even though this kind of determines a good bit of what the drawing is going to look like. But the whole thing is I want this to look loose and kind of free. I'm not one of those, I don't like to render things really detailed um, at all. So we're just gonna fill that all in right there. Um, yeah, I'm not a big, we're just gonna make that whole entire shape. We can break it up a little bit later. Um, but yeah, not into like really rendered detail photorealism. This ear is way bigger than that ear, but whatever. No one's perfect. Um, but yeah, I want it to look loose, which is why I'm trying to do all these little like, you think about where you want the line to be and then you do it right. You don't do this whole, that's why I don't like drawing in pencil that much. Cause if you're working in pencil, you tend to, you draw it and then you're like, oh, I didn't like that. And so I'll erase it and then I'll try again. And da 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 da. And it's like, no, just do it. And if you mess up, then just start over again. And people don't like that. And people are always like, oh, how do you get good at drawing? Well, just like draw a whole bunch and you'll eventually get good. And that's, and honestly, it's like anyone can do it. It's literally, it's just, it's like practicing an instrument. Like you just keep doing it and you keep doing it and then eventually you don't have to think about it as much but i mean it's always hard though um i mean there are parts of it are hard like i'll look at this later and i'll probably think it's awful um and then maybe a week from now i'll look at it and i'll think it's like genius and then um you know and then a year from now i'll think it's like oh gosh i didn't know anything back then and then five years from now, I'll look at it and I'll be like, wow, I like was doing pretty good for like where I was. So I don't know. Everything is always like the perspective that you look at it with. Do you guys like how I just ramble on a lot? It's pretty fun. Um, okay. Now that I just did all of that. Oh, man. I think I... Honestly, I probably should have picked the three. It's just that I was so um, scared. So I'm gonna. I'm got. I got the three number three marker now, and I'm not thinking as much about this because I've already got some of my boundaries here. And this is just like getting some of the darker darks. Whoops, see there I messed up. 
but the world won't know. I mean, the, now the world will know because I just told you. But um, you don't have to pretend that you know. You can just say, Joe, that's lovely. You're wonderful. Um, oh my God, Becca. So I, I'm, I'm acknowledging you now, honey. And I love you so much. Becca Tobin, my new roomie, is... <laughs> Becca, are... I don't know. Can the world see what you're typing? I don't know how this works. But I love you, honey. Becca Tobin is my new roommate. And she's wonderful and she's lovely. And I wasn't looking at my phone, honey, because I'm, I'm drawing. And um, I can't really hold a conversation with you because I'm looking at my, what I'm drawing. Um, oh, gosh. She wants me to sing her something. Honey, I'm going to sing you something. I don't really sing, but oh gosh, honey, I'm, I can't, I, I can't sing and draw and talk and read. I mean, I know I can do a few things at once, but I don't know if I can do that many things. <laughs> she says yay. Um, she is a fun girl, Becca. Becca. Um, yeah, she's she's wonderful. And she moved in this week and she is so fun and she's like Martha Stewart if Martha Stewart was fun to be around. Actually, I don't know Martha Stewart. Maybe she is really fun to be around. I think she's doing a show with Snoop Dogg. But Becca is like crazy singing decorating fairy woman i don't even know she's gonna slap me for calling her crazy fairy woman but she my apartment feels so homey now and i love it um anyways so what just happened here is i reinstated some of these um colors colors some of these um lines with the uneven darker gray um and look at this guys since i'm holding my phone this is how i'm putting my marker <laughs> caps on and then i just hope that it stays um but that was number three so now i'm going to go back to number two Oh my god, guys, I don't even know where number two is. This is what happens when your brains are on drugs. Actually, I'm not on drugs at all, but I just thought it would be fun to say that. Becca, are you listening? I'm singing to you. Oh my goodness, I love you. Guys, I can't sing, but I try. Um... Yay, number two. Okay, so this is where some fun stuff happens. I just, you just start filling in, like, everything. And you're like, oh my god, what are you doing? It looks, it looked so good, and now it looks so bad. And then I'm like, I know, right? I've screwed it up. And then, like, everything sucks. Um, oh my gosh, Paige Lyons my wonderful friend from Maryland says, your snaps with Becca are hilarious, so fun. They are hilarious. I'm not going to lie. And you know what, guys? I haven't been on doing the snap Snapchat thing as much. Because for a while, I didn't have it on my phone. You know? And so there's that reason right there. Um... I think I, I keep doing this. I'm like wandering away. Let's look at Joe's foot over here. Um, I don't mean to do that. This looks so scary now, and I'm really s sorry. So what can happen sometimes with drawings is that they can start to suck. Um, and it might happen with this one. Who knows? You just sometimes you... You just go with it, and if it starts to if it starts to suck, then you just say whoops. Um, but you say whoops, and then you say where did I go wrong? And now that I'm doing this live video, you guys can be like, hey, you're going wrong right now. 
you know. But I don't think I'm going wrong yet. So, all right, so now we basically have this two tone drawing. And he has this shadow shapes. Okay, so let me show you. This is the reference boy. It's it's super, super bright because um wrong button because my computer's really bright. But oh fuck. I mean shoot. Oh crap. Um so yeah, there is Mr. Male Model who is too pretty for all of you guys, apparently. Look at that face. Um and then here's my version of him. I think I made him look a little bit nicer. Just gonna throw that out there. Um, because, you know, you can have cheekbones, but if you never smile, then, you know, just screw you. Um, you need to smile and you need to be silly every once in a while. Um, but also, I guess cheekbones sell and, you know, your cheekbones are better when you're have resting bitch face. Um, okay, back to number three marker. I gotta get his eyebrows back again. Remember us talking about how much we love eyebrows. This eyebrow is way lower than that eyebrow. Whoops. Oh well. And sometimes it just feels like you're not really doing anything. And sometimes it's because you're not. Um, okay, and then other times. Okay, so he's got like a shadow on his eye. And I gotta get that a little bit. And then he's got like. These are like puppy dog eyes. So this eyebrow looks kind of weird now. We've got to fix it up there. Um, this is more shadowy here than, okay. All these shapes. Yeah, so basically what happens is this was a white paper and I did a pencil sketch to know where his head was being placed. Then I used a light warm tan to figure everything out. I put a cooler gray in the shadows. Um, and now I'm doing kind of this, the core shadow, like the boundary between shadow and light. I'm kind of emphasizing that with a little bit of a darker gray. Um, oh, hi, Kyle. Thank you for the hearts. Oh, my God. There's, like, hearts everywhere. I feel so loved. Oh, my God. Um, but anyways, I am done with that gray. You can... No, I'm not. I lied, guys. I'm a wine son of a gun. Oh, my God. Kelly's watching. I love you, Kelly. I want you to be my friend. <laughs> um, I think it's weird that I can see who's watching. Oh my god, stop looking at my tummy. Kyle says, he, oh god, that's so weird. I just did an ab workout, so don't... It shouldn't be a bad tummy. Um, Kyle can see my bird. Bird! You can see my tummy. Um, anyways, here we go with the grays. Sometimes I hit like a, I'm like, oh no, what am, what's happening now? Um, but we'll tell you what's happening now is we get warm, warm tan. I don't know. I, I keep turning these to try to find the label and the labels here. Bird. But Kyle's just sent me birds. He calls me bird. Um, I guess because I am one. I don't know. I think it's like the cutest name ever. So we have a warm gray and then, okay, I'm going to show you the reference so you can kind of see what I'm doing. Um, so uh, it doesn't show up very well being from my computer screen to my phone, but he has these warmer shades 
he looks really washed out right now, which is why I don't like looking like using photo references. Like it would be nice to have a live model. If anyone wants to be a live model for me, let me know. Um, anyway, so Kyle, you, I could draw you. You have a good face. Anyway, um, here he has some warmer shades. And so I will, oh my God, the light had failed me for a second. So then I take my warmer um, color and I just do that. And that was a kind of a darker color than I was planning on it being. Um, but it's okay. So all these like places where it's a little bit warmer, I just am like, oh man, let's just put some warmth in here. And I use warmth very loosely because this is like a grayscale drawing. Um, I'm just using warm and light grays. Um, oh shit, you know, he's got like crap going on with his chest down here. This is a shirt. Um, he's got all this warm crap that going on down there that I didn't really pay attention to before. You know, we need a number one for that. Un ah, no, 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 no. I think it's this color. You know what? Um, so he's got like, yeah. I don't know, because there's like, because bodies are weird to me. I don't know. Like, you have faces and I those are easy to draw but then you have like this transition into the body and I'm and I'm just like what's happening I don't know bodies aren't weird I'm just making shit up but um yeah adding more warmth warmth in the boundaries of between shadow and light kind of this transitional tones um and you have all that. And then you have, you also need sometimes in the shadows, oh, fuck. okay, you get like a warm color and you need to like warm up parts of the shadow, right? Like that, um, I think. Um, and it starts to look really sketchy. And I do mean that in two ways. I mean, it's like really sketchy. And um, all of that, you know. And then so, so yeesh, yeesh. I'm not putting the lids on. You guys saw how difficult it was for me to put a lid on these markers when I'm holding up this cell phone with one hand. Oh my God, oh my God. Did you guys ever see that? Um, she's called the like the Wiggle Lady. If you go on YouTube, go on freaking YouTube right now. Um, you know, and well, I mean, don't stop watching me, you know, because I'm wonderful. Um, not really. You can stop watching me if you want. Um, but it's the Wiggle Lady, and she has this little like sponge, and she's like so excited about it, and she does these wiggles, and she's like, oh my god, oh my god, there's another one. Oh, and she's like this crazy old woman. And it reminds me of my mother because my mother is a crazy woman. Um, and I think that's where I get most of my craziness from. Um, but who wants to be like a normal person when you can be a crazy person? Crazy people are more interesting. You know, like who wants to be just like so on top of like doing everything right all the time um i mean that's a lie i want to do everything right all the time my goal for 2017 is to basically become perfect um that's pretty much my goal every year um and let let you know i'm gonna let you guys know i'm pretty i'm pretty close to getting there um I just, um, it might take another couple hundred years. Uh, there we go. Okay, so filling in some of these, I'm, I'm just dabbing, dabbing a little bit here and there. Um, 
because I'm trying to soften some of these just like streaks that I put in a little bit ago. But um, yeah, but then you got to add some more streaks. And then there, and then there's hair. God, hair so fucking dumb. Cause you have all of it. But the thing about hair, guys, if you're drawing hair, don't think about it in like a million strands. You know, try to think about it in sections. Is what I always try to do. It's just sections of hair. They're all shapes. That's all drawing is. is it's just like you see a shape and you fill it in. And then as you get further along, you just do smaller shapes within those shapes and then smaller shapes within those shapes. Um, see, now I got a, I, in continuing this transition, we had shadow, we had core shadow, and now we're doing more of this uh, mid-tone type of thing. Um, so he's got like some stuff going on in his forehead now. Um, and I don't know if I like this guy's. It might end up being like kind of bad, but that's okay. Cause you know what will happen if it's bad? Then it's, first of all, it's just a bad drawing, who cares? Um, and then second of all, I can, you know, be like, what did, what went wrong with it? Um, and then I can try again. I honestly think that's why, that's why people don't, there are people that want to get good at drawing or, well, they think they want to get good at drawing. And then they're like, oh, well, you're just talented or you're just da 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 da. And they want, they're like, how do I get better? Ba -ba 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 -ba. And I'm really not trying to make fun of people. I'm sorry. Um, but it's like just you have to put in the effort and you have to do it more often. Um, and if you mess up, then you just start all over again. Um, it's like anything. Like if you're going to throw a baseball and you want to get good at it, then you just, wow. this. So I, it's, things happen like this where it looks like his eye is wonky, but that's because that's the shadow. That's not the shape of his iris. But anyway, we'll fix that. Um but no, it's like it's like throwing a baseball. If you want to get better at it, you have to just keep on doing it. And so it's really like, okay, so what do you want to get better at? Do you want to get better at throwing a baseball or do you want to get better at drawing or do you want to get better at playing an instrument or do you want to get better at this is basically my life, by the way, guys. Like I want to get better at like 50 billion things all at the same time and I also have to have a job and I also have to pay bills and all of that crap. So it's like, where's the time in the day? Um, also, it's easier if you don't have friends, guys. So just get rid of all of your friends and all of your family and just only just become perfect. That's what you have to do. And then people will want to be your friend because you're perfect. And then you'll just say no. No, you're not perfect. Go away. I'm totally kidding. I have a weird sense of humor, guys. I'm sorry. I don't want to offend anyone. Um, people watch and then they're like, you're crazy. And I'm like, yeah. I thought you knew that. Um, okay, so here we go. Just so you guys know, this probably, if someone was outside of my room listening, and luckily my roommate is not here at home, but she would probably think I'm crazy, like, just talking to myself. But I'm not just talking to myself, I'm talking to you guys. Um, because you're so cool. Um, yeah. We're just gonna, like, keep doing some things here. Okay, that, yeah, that was like bothering me there. So now you can kind of see a little more what I was trying to do. Um, okay, he looks so, he looks like he just got beaten up with a baseball bat. 
like 